Hey guys, welcome to a little editing session. I uh, just went out for my first fall shoot of the season last night up at Rocky Mountain National Park. Uh, got this shot here that I've been wanting to get for a while. Did a couple bracketing sequences, so I uh, was just gonna run through this and uh, see how it comes out. Give you guys a little idea of how I typically edit my fall photos. Uh, so, for the bracketing, what I'm going to do is select this. This is the group of photos that I want to merge. So I'll go to Photo Merge HDR, uh, and that's going to bring up the preview here. I always go with the high deghost amount um, just to make sure that there's no overlapping or uh, soft areas within the overlap. So. Um, this is what I get with that. I'm going to create the stack, merge, bring those together. All right, so there we have it. Uh, typically, I would go start with a, a preset. Uh, my starter or like one of these are, are typically my go-to's but uh, with the HDR I'm just going to do it completely from scratch so what I'm going to do is come down to my calibration um, I like to bring the blues way up um, on the saturation and then obviously that's going to bring quite a bit of color out um, but we'll fix that soon uh, then I go to lens correction, remove chromatic aberration. I do this for every single edit I do. Um, depending on the edit, uh, as you can see, we have ISO of 100 here, but sometimes if it's higher, I'll bring the luminance uh, noise reduction up to 20. Um, but looking in on everything, it looks pretty clean. Not too much noise there. Um, so then next step, uh, just because I hate to see a ton of blues in my photos um, go up to the saturations on the HSL tab and I like to bring the blues down typically to about like 25 um, between 25 and like 40 um, but there's a lot of blues in these so I'm gonna bring it on the lower end of it and then leave the rest of the colors for now um, from here um, with the HDR they typically are gonna give you um, a pretty good starting base, but I'd just like to mess around with everything here and see if there's anything I want to change. So um, I might bring the shadows up a little bit. I like to s use the option tab while I'm messing with these to see how far, um, like where the levels are. So there's still quite a bit of black in here. So I'm going to bring the blacks up till I can't see those anymore. And as you can see, it's a little flat right now, so I'm going to bring the contrast up, um, but we'll fix that later in Photoshop. Uh, then I like to bring the whites up pretty high, but as you can see, the moon and the glow on Long's, uh, Long's Peak there are pretty bright. So what I've been doing lately is I'll make a mask. I'll go to the sky. That's obviously going to be the brightest part of most of your photos um, so I'll go to the sky and then I'll invert that so I can get the foreground and then I'll bring the whites up from there and I typically see that that brings just some ni nice brightness so I'm gonna bring the highlights down a little bit just so that glare on longs isn't super harsh I'll bring the whites down a little bit more as well um, and then we'll just use the color sliders to bring out the yellows and the oranges there in the Aspen. Um, so I'll do that and then typically I'll just hit M for a gradient mask and um, bring the exposure down, the contrast up a little bit just to give that faded look there. Try to bring this up quite a bit. Okay, cool. We'll bring the clarity up a tad. And then typically end on HSL. Uh, for my fall photos, definitely like to bring 
the yellows and the oranges up quite a bit and then depending on how much light they're getting here there's not really any light on them so I'll bring the luminance up on both the orange and the yellow the orange is typically gonna give you more in the Aspen despite what you might think in the yellow um, but kind of mess around with those see what you can get see if we can get any red out of this maybe a little bit of green hmm the peak on longs is really messing with me right now Let me do one more mask here. And I'm just gonna brush out. And I might bring the yellows down just a little bit. Try to get a little bit more orange out of them. Greens. I'll bring that down. All right, cool. Well, now let's bring this into Photoshop. Alright, so we have it up in Photoshop now. Uh, typically here, if there's no distractions, um, it'll be pretty quick, but we do have a huge crowd of people down by the lake, so I want to take them out. Just gonna get my lasso tool, and we will slowly take these people out. All right, awesome. Not a huge deal there, but then what I do from here is I'll do Control J, make a copy of the layer, um, go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Uh, typically, I'll set this a little bit higher than what your megapixel, um, what how many megapixels you have on your camera. Uh, press OK. Then I'll go to blend, overlay, and typically bring this down to 20 to start, see where that ends up. And then I will go to brightness, contrast, layer, mask, um, not really a mask, but the whole, whole deal here, and then kind of mess around with the brightness um, and see where that ends up. Maybe bring a little contrast in there. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty good, and then I'll save that. So that's it for this edit. Um, let me know what you guys think, if there's anything that you do differently, or if there's anything that you haven't been doing, and this was helpful.